How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video. And IGN just released another, uh, I guess, piece of brand new um, gameplay. It is, it, it is, it is awesome. Um, it is just a, a really beautiful island. The day and night cycle of uh, Isla uh, Muerta is just, it, it's great. Just the, just the way it looks, everything about it. You know the way the lighting is, the way the sun hits the buildings. You know it's it is a very good a very good lighting scheme for the island that has the most storms. You know what I mean? And that's what this gameplay is all about. It's it shows you how to uh, address storms uh, and how to fix storms. I mean, when you in the story mode, whenever you come to this island, you start out uh, having to fix uh, all the stuff that's broken and get the and get the park operation operational again. And that to me is, is really cool. It really helps you uh, really brings you into the fold a lot uh, of really kind of figuring out actually how to play the game and how to analyze what's going to happen and how quick to uh to go through a lot of the um i guess troublesome areas of of uh of rebuilding your park and what happens now i also uh, i want to if you guys want to see like the full uh, 20 30 minutes of gameplay you can uh, head over to ig and i'll have a link in the description for that the main thing is you can definitely see that they are putting an emphasis on the management aspect of the game they got a lot of criticism in planet coaster for not being able to manage the game as much it was more about the scenery and the building and the pieces in jurassic world evolution is the exact opposite it seems to be more about the management and less so about um, the aesthetics and the nice little key features and the building and stuff like that. Uh, there's definitely, uh, hopefully, hopefully, there's going to be huge elements in that of that in there. But it definitely seems to be uh, taking a hard lean towards the management overall. Uh, that that can either be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. Um, Ian Malcolm uh, gives you a kind of a a very I don't know if you want to say like a, it's like a chipper grim. Uh, description of the island and what's to uh, what's to expect but just some of the close-up scenes of the island as it opens up and stuff like that is really really excellent you can see as it clicks uh, as the whoever's playing the game clicks on uh, a lot of the different <clears throat> buildings and pylons and stuff like that and it gives you what's wrong with them how much power is being connected to other stuff uh, and each thing you click on it gives you a range of options, which is really cool. You know, it was just like enter vehicle and he was in the vehicle on the ground driving around. It, it's really great. You know, the, the water puddles and the reflections, the, they've really taken this game, you know, they really stepped it up a notch. Um, it's, it's just great. It really is. There's a whole lot to look in, uh, look into this game, especially, um, the new dinosaur was a, a Huang, Huangosaurus. Uh, it's, it's, that's going to be a hard one to say. And I've heard people say it, but I'm still, still having trouble pronouncing that one. <laughs> so yeah, that's right. That's really cool. I mean, this, this piece of gameplay really, really delivered, didn't it? So anyway, um, if there's anything I missed, um, I'll definitely cover it in a different video, uh, another upload later on. And if there's anything that you guys want me to talk about that was seen in this 20 minutes of gameplay, anything you want me to extrapolate further, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. Um, no big deal. I, I want to keep this video kind of short uh, just because, I mean, everybody else has already kind of covered a lot of what what's up with this, uh, this little piece of gameplay from IGN. So I just want to, you know, throw my hat in the ring and give my opinions on it. And if you guys want to hear me talk about anything else that's in this uh, big section of footage, just let me know. Uh, hop, hop down in the comment section below. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, again, just wanted to keep you guys updated, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. As if prehistoric creatures weren't enough to contend with, on this next island, Isla Muerta, you may have uh, some meteorological events. You know, storms, extreme weather, that kind of thing from time to time. As you can see, the weather on this island can be a little temperamental. First thing you're going to want to do is fix any damage this storm has caused. You should use a ranger team to get the park operational again. Oh, and don't forget to close any emergency shelters when it's safe to do so. Guests won't spend their hard-earned dollars huddled in a bunker underground, will they? Hmm? That must have been quite the storm. And it seems that bad weather is often a precursor to bad behavior from the dinosaurs. If you believe that everything is connected, the so-called butterfly effect, and I do believe it, by the way, then one small change is all it takes to create a series of toppling dominoes leading to rampaging dinosaurs. And they don't make a butterfly net big enough to stop them.